All right. <laughs> Hi, it's Alexis Hopkins, and I'm here with yet another student doing an interview on AVID, and this is Cody Maley, who's been a student in my summer speech class, and has volunteered to talk to me about AVID, and I have your permission, right, to record this and share this? Yep. Thanks, Cody. Um, tell us, I know it's been a while, but I've also told you not to feel bad about that because <laughs> most people's experiences that I've spoken with have been sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Yes. So tell me your experience. Um, when I was living in uh, Virginia Beach, um, sixth grade, I was put into the uh, AVID program. The AVID program was a separate class from the rest of the sixth grade um, we had two teachers one that taught us our English and social studies classes and the other one that taught us our math and science classes um, and we had a completely different curriculum everything that we followed in comparison to the uh, rest of the sixth grade class and what can you remember about it obviously you remember it because sixth grade it's been a few years, and yet yeah. it stands out somehow. Um, well, I mean, the, bi the biggest reason why it stands out to me is because of um, when my family moved the very next year, uh, we moved to Maine. Maine doesn't have an AVID program. And uh, I basically, any all the advanced placement kind of stuff that I'd gotten with AVID uh, completely went out the window. I I got no, none of that. Um, I actually ended up having to take the same class two years in a row after that, after my AVID experience, just because they could not, uh, they didn't have a class for me when, when we moved to Maine. I understand. So, so um, algebra one or whatever, I had to take three times over the course of my uh, uh, middle school. And you think if you'd had an avid tutor, an avid instructor, that would have gone better? If, if, we, just, if we just stayed in um, Virginia, um, they, you started in avid in sixth grade, and you stayed in avid all the way through middle school into high school. And by the time you were a sophomore in high school, you basically had your high school degree. Wow. You had your GED, basically. Or, um, your diploma, I mean, um, and you started taking college courses your sophomore year. It's really interesting to me to hear how it is different in other states. Um, I was doing some research this afternoon about how widespread it was. It's in 44 states in the United States, not all 50, but 44, and I think 16 countries but it's not universal and there it, it doesn't seem to be universal even in a city because there are some high schools in wichita that do it and some that don't and some middle schools and some that don't but universally i've never spoken to a student who had an avid experience that didn't wish they could have continued yeah um i think i think the hard the hardest part with the avid stuff is that um a, a student that is part of AVID, like, to, not to say anything about myself or anything, but it takes a certain type of student to be part of AVID. You know, you got to be, as the acronym says, you know, like individually motivated to, you know. Succeed. Succeed and get what you're... You've got a six-month-old baby distracting you. I, I, won't, well, I won't keep you. And, 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 my, and my wife telling me that there are schools that do uh, uh, the entire school does AVID, and, which yeah. I don't know. I don't understand how that works because there, there were kids in my sixth grade class who um, could not fathom the fact that we, we were studying what we were studying in the grade that we were in. 
Well, the, one of the people that I interviewed this afternoon said that every class, every instructor in their school for that year was an avid instructor. And some were better than others. She said some of them, they had to keep portfolios and they had to have their notes checked every week. And some were better at it than others. But wow, did your wife um, go to an avid school or how does she know about it? She just has heard about it? Knows through the grapevine. Um, it's one of those. I think. Secrets. I think with our uh, with our class, we had every every class because we we had two teachers that were specifically for our class, right. uh, or for our Abbott class, and we uh, and uh, there was actually three kids in our class who were advanced placement, even past what we were doing in Abbott. So they did all. Uh, they did our science. Um, English and social studies course but then they took like algebra 2 or something in sixth grade so they were one class ahead of us when it came to math um, and yeah we had to we took our we took our notes and we had to turn those in um, at the end of the week and they, they they would check them over and make sure you were doing taking notes you're doing everything correctly and they'd hand them back and then um, I think we had like one one free period where we were able to go from either our English and social studies teacher or our math and science teacher and we could go and try and get individual help with whatever uh, subject that we were struggling with as long as we were showing that we were doing what we were at least was required of us because if we weren't doing what was required of us, then we weren't supposed to be in the class kind of deal. I don't know. It was like... Part it, of that individual motivation is yeah. somebody looking over your shoulder, making sure that you You're stay doing motivated, it. which is cool. So you, I know you have a six-month-old-ish, <laughs> or not a 100% sure daughter. When <laughs> it's her turn to be in school, are you? is this something you'll consider? Yeah, I mean, I I think that that would all that would be up to her. Obviously, I mean, if she, if she's not, I mean, because right now she drools on herself, and that's about it. <laughs> and apparently throws cereal, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, it, you know, if she's a very motivated kid in school, which I hope she was, she will be. I was in school. Um, if she's very motivated, I would want her to be part of that sort of thing because it sets you up so much better for life. If you, uh, if you, if you're able to stick with it and I mean, I don't plan on moving. So, <laughs> well, it's my understanding that it helps you find that motivation if you're not as well. So there's yeah. both types. I, of I say, our, find our, class, our class didn't, was, didn't have that issue. Was everybody, everybody who was in class wanted to be in that class. That's cool. And wanted the advanced placement. Um, and very cool. we, did, we, I think we actually ended up losing like one or two kids, like very quickly, you know, in the first couple weeks of that school semester, just, um, just because they realized that they didn't want to be part of that. They, they weren't as motivated as the rest of us to, you know, get the, get the education that we wanted. So. Okay. I forgot to ask you what, uh, what's your major? My major is in accounting. Okay, I I remember that from before now. So, um, have in your experience at Butler, and how long have you been here? What semester are you in at Butler? Um, I am. I think next semester I'll graduate with my two-year degree. Okay, so you've been here for a while. Have you experienced instructors, and I don't need to know names or classes, but have you experienced instructors at Butler that were more motivating or more willing to take extra time and, and encourage? Or, I mean, what is your experience, and can you lot, tell a difference in classes? A lot of a lot of the courses I've taken at Butler have been online, just because I work full time and everything. But right. uh, we're working and, on that. Yeah. I'm making <laughs> online courses more interactive and motivational. Yeah, I mean, this this class with the with the Zoom stuff, meeting every week, 
you know, it, it puts everything that you got to get done in perspective where in all, a lot of my other classes, it, it's just like, when's the due date, get it right. done on the due date, turn it in. Like I'm, I'm taking another class, um, a micro a macroeconomics class right now. And I don't, I don't know the name of my teacher. <laughs> I had to look it up when I turned in a paper. <laughs> Well, so. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but at least you won't forget me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've taken enough of your time, and you've got to go spend precious time with your baby and your wife. Yeah. Thank you so much, Cody, and uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.